blinded by the action. You need that. We're in Ivy's Corner, we're at the Notre Dame Michigan football game, and we have Ruth Riley back. First of all, I'm really excited that she's back. Obviously, when she comes back every year, and you, you, everybody knows Ruth, you know, um, you know, WNBA All-Star, WNBA two-time champion, a gold medalist, national champion. She was on the free throw line, won the game for us, and for my former teammate, and I, you know, Ruth knows this, but I love her to death. And every time she comes back, it just I, I get so excited. Um, it was one of the most hard-working players I've ever played with, so I've learned so much from Ruth. So, welcome back. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, just talk about your experience in Notre Dame, and then just talk about the, wh the reason why you chose to come to Notre Dame. Well, uh, for me, Notre Dame was really the only choice that I had. Um, there wasn't a lot of other schools that competition-wise. You know, I, I looked at some other schools, but you know, when you come here and you're just on campus, you meet the coaches, you you understand that it has everything with athletics, academics. Um, you know, and faith for me it had everything I wanted in school. So. Um, and, you know, it was just an amazing four years, you know, and our, our collegiate career was a little up and down, but I think we just continued to persevere and work, and we knew what our ultimate goal was, and, you know, I'm sure that you feel the same way, but to, to leave, obviously, winning a national championship, winning your last game as a collegiate player, and then leaving a legacy, uh, you know, I think it's something we're both very fortunate to have done. Definitely. Well, you see, like, especially with our backdrop, we have a new video board. The arena's brand new. It just was renovated last year. And just to see all the, the upgrades that we had with this, u this university and our arenas. When you come back, is it kind of like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's a new campus every time you come back. How is it when you come back? What's well, exciting for me because you see a lot of the same faces. You see a lot of the people who have been around the organization, the, the community when I come to a game, who have supported us when we played here. You know, they're still here 10 years later. But then you also see how far that they've grown. And exactly. I think that as female athletes especially to see uh, just the facility that we have, the opportunities that we have. I mean, it's exciting for the future and, and for the future athletes coming up behind us. Definitely. And you know about Ruth's career. Um, I'm always like on the internet trying to figure out her stats and where she's at and when she played overseas. She plays internationally. You know, she plays with the USA team. And um, I just wanted to ask about your charities off the court. And I think with Notre Dame, it's, we're really big about community outreach. And Ruth is an ambassador with that. And she's done such an amazing job here at Notre Dame and where she's at now that she's off the court. So talk a little bit about your charities and what you do kind of off the court. Well, like you said, I started here at Notre Dame. We, uh, we recognize as a university that we're given a platform to make a difference in the community. And I think that, you know, that just started it for me. And when I got into the WNBA, it's something that, you know, it wasn't set up for me initially. It's something that, you know, I sought to, to do and to be involved in. Just understanding, I mean, I get to play sport for a living. And you know, because of that, I'm able to positively affect other people's lives. So, as a as a, a representative for the UN Foundation, Nothing But Nets is a charity that I go to Africa with and try to raise money here. And it's the number one killer of children in Africa under the age of five. So it's been awesome. it's been pretty empowering for me to see what sport can do outside of just that athletic part. Exactly, you've done so much, and we're so proud of you. We're always kind of like, oh, Ruth. Every time we see you, like we are so proud of you. You know, I'm completely proud of you. And so we're just happy to have her back. She's coming for the Michigan game, and you know, in a couple hours, it's going to be Notre Dame's going to be on top. So you can say go Irish. And um, everyone have a great weekend and thank you for coming. Thank you.